Okay, so here we are. Uh, solar panel setup is up and on the dish. Uh, we have three batteries now hooked up. The pulser is set up on them. Um, I had it fully charged. It was saying 12.8 all of yesterday. Uh, there's 12.8. Um, kind of bouncing in between 12.8 12.9 with the pulser on. It's been on for a few days now. Probably keep that on indefinitely. It doesn't seem to affect any of uh, the Arduino or anything like that. Uh, speaking of, here we are. And right now I am testing the uh, the sun detector sensor essentially. Um, that will sit up on top of the uh, on top of the dish here, right up top. And uh, basically, it is three photoresistors. And uh, so there's three photoresistors each and behind. If you get a good look here, um, I'll pull that off for a moment. Just pull the battery off here. Um, we have, you kind of see them in there, I guess. But uh, just covered in hot glue for now. They're each in their own individual little tube. Uh, the two on the side kind of point off almost 45 degree angle. And then this one in the center is uh, straight out. So basically the code, it's about, I'd say, nine lines of code. Um, if this sensor is greater than this sensor, then we need to go one direction. If this sensor is greater than this sensor, then we need to go the other direction. Um, there's a little bit in there. I think I'm dividing by 10 just to drop the values down a little bit so it's not going all crazy. But uh, there'll be a little work in there, probably time of day, work with time of day. And I mean, you get shadows and things will wanna, wanna go weird. Um, the sun goes in behind the clouds and one sensor's getting a little bit more. I mean, there's gonna be weird situations where this isn't going to be perfect and the actuator's gonna to wanna to go back and forth and back and forth. So I'm gonna to have to think about that code a little bit, write it hopefully a little bit smart. But uh, this is kind of just my test bed example that I have going on. Um, I've got this 12 volt motor and uh, gearbox here. So we hook this up to the rim and we kind of spin the sensor over there this sensor should always get more sun than, than the one in the middle. So it's going to want to turn the motor and bring it back up until this sensor gets the most sun. So if we hook the relay board, basically, this is hooked up to the Arduino through some cat cable and power ground, and then the data is for the three sensors. Um, and then the relay board is connected to s 7 and 8. Uh, 7 and 8 and that's connected to red and black on the motor up here so basically what happens is that the relay will one relay will turn on the other one's going down to ground so when you turn one relay on it'll go one direction you turn the other relay on it'll go the other direction so we'll hook up the battery here and we're already wanting to go one direction so if we go up into that direction we point up at the sun so this is going to be a little hard to do with uh, one hand here maybe not I can move this over a bit but uh, if we uh, move this over should stop at the sun move this over this way should come back So it's always pointing at the sun, hopefully. Um, again, code will really determine how this works and progresses. And this will be connected to an actuator, not this uh, test jig. But this gives me a pretty good idea that the sensor is doing what it's supposed to do. And that's the progress so far. Did drill some holes out. Um, yeah, I got some grommets for everything, so grommet up and... Uh, put in some sealant in there, connect all the relays up, and then we've got all those connections out, the actuator connection, both these, I can put the cap back on. Uh, redoing the board in here that has the current sensors and there's just way too many wires floating around in there for me, so. 
clean it up and uh, probably use the 20 amp current sensors just to beef everything up a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the charger at the moment. Julian has not really been working on his MPPT so much the last little bit and I still need to learn a fair bit more about it. So not quite within the 20th deadline that I'm going for. So this is going to have to do for now and we'll work on MPPT after the 20th. Get this sorted out get it hooked up to the dish, hopefully get the dish actuating by the 20th, and uh, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, oh, see, that was probably a shadow there. I just got in the way of the sun, and it wanted to move over a bit, so if I trick it out, yeah, it's always going to want to try and stay in the brightest sun, but if you get some weird cloud cover, it's going to act a little weird, at least with the basic code that I've written so far. So there's the progress so far on the solar stuff.